What if your next feature shipped while you kept coding? Or you went to the beach? Or your AI assistant just worked on those bugs while you focus on the next big thing you're building? I've been chasing ways to kill wait time and run tasks in parallel. Over the past few months, this flow has significantly boosted my productivity. Today, I'll show you my favorite combo. The GitHub MCP, GitHub Issues, and your favorite coding agent, like Cursor or Claude Code. Let's go! Hey, Alex here with Grit AI Studio. Today, we're diving into what has become my favorite workflow when coding with AI. We'll turn a rough idea into a crisp spec, push it straight to GitHub issues with the GitHub MCP, kick off one or several Cursor background agents, and end with tested pull requests that you can review right inside Cursor. Same pattern works with Linear, Claude Code, or GitHub Copilot agents, but I'll show you how to get started with GitHub and Cursor. You'll need a repo on GitHub, Cursor with the GitHub MCP connected, a personal access token or PAT with minimal scopes, and background agents enabled. So, if you're using something like Linear for feature and issue tracking, just swap out GitHub issues from my examples here. If you prefer Claude Code, you can definitely use the same approach as I show you here with Cursor and Cursor background agents. Choose your favorite flavor and start building. If you've followed our Cursor build series on the channel, you can jump straight in. If not, I would urge you to check out the starter videos to get yourself up and running on GitHub and Cursor. Here. Setting up the GitHub MCP is easy. Just grab your personal access token from GitHub and add it as a new MCP server here. Now we can chat with our agent in Cursor and it can start interacting with GitHub for us. The key to this workflow is really to have one place where we describe our issues or planned features. You could do that in markdown files inside of your project or make use of something like GitHub issues, linear or even Notion. We'll use GitHub issues, which makes it really easy for us to fire off tasks and can even do more advanced stuff with GitHub actions, which we'll cover in a future video. Step number one would be to describe our issue, bug, or a new feature that we're envisioning. This is also super useful when you're coding with AI and the AI suggests several next steps. I find myself thinking, that's a great idea, but right now let's not get distracted from what we're working on. Instead of missing out or forgetting, we can simply ask the AI to save that idea for later, either in a roadmap file in our project or create issues in GitHub issues. You can of course create issues manually in GitHub, or you can do it from cursor like we'll do here. You can do the same thing from Claude or ChatGPT with connectors to GitHub if that's your go-to for planning and fleshing out your ideas. Start with a one-liner. Ask the AI to produce a compact spec. Context, why, acceptance criteria, edge cases, and a test plan. The more specific we are, the better. But AI is great at filling in the gaps here as well. And we can always update and make changes later if we want to. You can also provide screenshots when you describe your idea or issues. If you're happy with the spec, ship it to GitHub issues from Cursor using the GitHub MCB. We'll simply tell Cursor to create a new issue for us using the GitHub MCB. Same approach applies if you're using Claude Code. We can now review our issue in GitHub, make changes or add more details. If you want to, you can add labels, assignee and screenshots. We can now use these issues when we work with Cursor by referencing the issue number. This is a way of essentially injecting context to start working on a task. This in itself is really useful, but the real fun is when we make use of background agents to work on one of these issues or new features while we can carry on with a different task in parallel. With background agents, we essentially spawn asynchronous agents that edit and run code in a remote environment. 
We can view their status, send follow-ups, or take over at any time. Behind the scenes, Cursor runs their agents in isolated virtual machines running on AWS. Cursor background agents clone your repo from GitHub and work on a separate branch, pushing to your repo for easy handoff. Currently, they only support GitHub, and you need to grant read-write privileges to your repo. Remember that agents have internet access and can install packages, and you should be aware that agents auto-run all terminal commands, which means there are risks for prompt injections, and you need to make security considerations. Check out the link below on risks and how to mitigate. Background agents only support max mode models, which means background agents are charged at API pricing for the model you use. You can set a spend limit to avoid big surprises. In Cursor, simply ask the agent to fix the issue or build a new feature, point to the issue in GitHub, and tell it to create a PR for you to review when done. You can fire it off as a background agent from the chat, or create a new agent from the background agents menu over here. In this case, we're adding a full integration with Strava to our running mind app that we've been building in this series. I was definitely not sure that the agent would be able to actually implement this with a one-shot prompt, but time and time again, I get surprised by how powerful these coding agents have become. We fired it off as a background agent that we can monitor over here. It reads the GitHub issue, drafts a plan, opens a branch, implements changes, and keeps status updates in chat. If you want to, you can even connect your Slack to the background agents to get updates and trigger tasks directly from Slack. With the mobile or web interface, we can access our background agents from anywhere. On a run, waiting for my wife and kids shopping, or while commuting to work on a crowded train. Just remember to take a break once in a while. Here's where the speed comes from. Split work into small independent issues and run agents in parallel. While one agent builds the UI, another updates the API, a third writes tests. No more staring at progress bars. While we wait for our Strava integration, we can look at fixing some minor improvements in our app, like this one where the drag and drop functionality was not working. We create an issue in GitHub issues, add a screenshot, and fire off another background agent. We can check out the branch that it created in Cursor, review the code, and run the app to make sure everything is working as intended. Once we're happy, we can merge the pull request and the issue will be automatically closed. Once the agent completes our Strava task, we can see the pull request here and we can open the PR branch directly in Cursor. Since we have Vercel set up for our project, it also automatically deploys the branch so that we can preview it without even opening Cursor. But I would definitely urge you to properly review and test before merging these pull requests. In Cursor, we can run tests, spin up the preview, and ask the AI to fix or improve if we're still not satisfied. We can even set up an agent to review the code as a first step, but we'll cover that in a future episode. We'll review the diffs against our acceptance criteria. If something's off, we'll ask the agent to iterate. When it's green, we're ready to merge our pull request. The issue auto closes with a link to the spec, so future you knows why. I've been obsessed with reducing waiting time, and my dream is to be able to go on a run and have an actual conversation with my agents that are busy working. This is definitely a big step in that direction. I've been surprised by how complex tasks it actually manages to pull off as long as you provide a detailed enough spec upfront. Here's an example of a game I've been building with my daughters, and it pulled off implementing a complete image generation feature using the Gemini API with a one-shot task, without me having to make any changes at all. I thought that was pretty cool. This setup lets me queue multiple tasks and keep momentum. While agents churn on long running work, refactors, test scaffolding, doc generation, I keep building. Over the last few months, running two to four focus issues in parallel has significantly increased my throughput and lowered context switching fatigue. 
Now I just need a bigger max plan for Claude Code and Cursor. The web mobile interface for background agents can be a bit dodgy at times, and sometimes the agent struggles with the GitHub connector. If you encounter issues, just try again, ask for a pull request, or be specific that you wanted to create a new branch for the feature. Also make sure you've defined the right scopes for your GitHub account and the MCP connection. So there you have it, a super powerful workflow that you can replicate with your favorite tools. You can swap GitHub issues for Linear or even Notion with MCP connection, and Cursor background agents for Claude Code or GitHub Copilot agents. The playbook stays the same. Spec, create an issue, parallel agents, pull request, test, and then merge. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite workflow looks like. Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.